Hi and welcome back to Engineering League. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to assign different types of resources for your project activities. Because when you're controlling a project, it doesn't mean that you're only controlling and monitoring the project's timeline. Besides the timeline, you should be able to control your resources and project costs as well. In order to assign resources for your project, the first thing that you are going to do is to define the resources. In order to do that, first we will go to the resource sheet and define different types of resources that we are going to use in our project. To go to the resource sheet, click here and click resource sheet. Now we are going to assign different types of resources. This resources could be human resources, materials, and other types of resources that will result into cost for the project. To do that, the first thing in here, you will write down your resource name. For example, in my project, Alex, which will be a human resource, will work. So I'll write down Alex and I will select the type from here. Is it a work, is it a material, or is it cost? If we select work, the project will take it as a human resource. So we will select work for Alex. From the maximum here, it shows the maximum units. By what percentage this specific resource is available? We will select 100%, which is selected by default by MS Project. Next thing is the standard rate. How much are we going to pay for the resources for each working hour? For example, for Alex, we will select $25. And in case you're working overtime and the rate for the overtime is something different than the standard rate, then you will add the value here. We will leave it blank here. Next thing is the accrual of the resource. There are three different types of accrual. Are you going to pay the resource at the start of the activity or at the end of the activity or is it going to be prorated? Prorated means that the cost for the resource will be divided equally on the duration of the activity. We will select prorated. Next thing here, base. On what base are you going to pay for the resource? You will select the standard. The other types are 24 hour shift and night shift. You will select the standard here. Next resource which will work with us on this project will be for example Steven. So for Steven, the maximum units will be 100%, which means that Steven will be working 100% of his time on this activity. And the standard pay rate for Steven may be, for example, $50 per hour. No, overtime, we will leave the overtime blank. And all the other things, we will leave it to default. Our next human resource will be, for example, let's write down Mohammed. Mohammed will be working with us on this project as well and we will assign a standard rate for Mohammed, for example, $45 per hour. Our next resource will be our material. For example, we will use cable and the type will be material. And moreover, the unit cost for our cable each single meter will cost us, for example, $15. And let's ch change the accrual to start of each activity because we usually buy resources before the activity began. Let's assign one more resource which will be router and then we will be done with resource names. That will be material as well and the rate that we are going to pay for each router for example it will, it will be $250 and we will pay at the start of the activity. Now from here we will go back to Gantt chart. Now we will assign the resources that we defined. To do that, go to resource and go to assign resources. For the survey, for example, we will select Alex and we will click assign. Alex will be automatically assigned and his wages for the day will be calculated by MS project. For our next, the design, we will assign, for example, Mohammed and we will assign Steven. For the installation, we will assign Alex. Moreover, we will assign some cable we are obviously going to use. So we will use, for example, 7 meters of cable. We will click Assign. 
and we will select two routers and assign sorry I should change this to two okay this is done and for the test tank we will assign only Alex for the project handover we will assign all of our resources Alex Mohammed and Steven so our project will be assigned now if we drag this to the right here our resource names are given in here moreover we can add another column for the cost of the activities so the associated costs with each activity will be given on the right here as well another thing that you might have noticed the names of the resources is shown in here in order to show or unshow them right click in the Gantt chart area go to bar styles from there in the text for example on the right it shows the resource names if you don't want to see it we will click here and press delete click OK and the names will disappear from there if you want to see anything specific on your Gantt chart you can right click here go to bar styles from there click the text on the left, on the right, on the top for example on the right I want to see name of the activities I'll write down name and click OK the activity names will be given on the right here once this is done in the report you can generate different types of re reports but for the time being we will only focus on the cash flow or the cost of the project once you click the cash flow the report will appear here since we don't have a baseline and we haven't spent anything in the project yet they are both zero the remaining cost is 10,345 and the cost variance in here is given 10,345 that's because we don't have any planned cost or the baseline cost yet here you can further break down this cash flow diagram from here for example in here the category is given in time we will edit this since the unit is quarters that's why we see only one single bar we will change this for example to days in the count you can decrease or increase the number of the frequency of these units for example we want to see the cash flow every three days we'll increase this to three and click OK as you can see a cash flow diagram is generated there are a lot of things here for example the filter and everything we will discuss them in detail in our future videos as you can see in here the table is given for example for the whole project in total if you want to break it down to the activity level click on the table and from here we will show the outline level for example to 5 and our activities will be shown as well for example for survey for everything if you want to take this report to Microsoft Excel or something click on the copy report and in here we will paste this report you can further modify it in Microsoft Excel I hope the content of this video were helpful in some way to you if you like the content please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and like this video thank you very much for watching